Today I want to show you a fun little boarding trick that I came up with just recently, which uh, I think is kind of funny. But before I do, I just want to talk about how your teleporter works exactly, um, as I think that may be helpful for understanding what is going on a bit later. Okay, so the first thing you need to know is that you must have a crew standing on a teleport tile uh, in order to board. You only need one. Um, so we take a look at this. Both of them are in the room, but we can't use the teleporter. We have to wait until they actually settle. Well, one of them settles on the square. So at this point, you see the teleporter is available um, and we can board now and it will take both of the crew over. Now, the next thing to note is that um, crew can't just be passing through the room. So even though we've got the human standing still here and the mantis um, looks like they're ready to teleport because they're ordered to go to this square, they're actually assigned there. They're not assigned to the teleporter. Um, and even if we say we have to let them settle and then we pause and we just order them out of the room, it looks like they can go. Um, but they will not be boarding, right? It'll just be the human. And you can actually make use of that to swap um, very quickly at the start of the fight between two different boarding parties. Um, so it's not really a good example here, but you know, pretend that these were both rocks and we also had two mantis. We could actually walk the mantis through the teleporter. I'm going to do that with um, the Zoltan here during the jump. And then maybe we fight um, an auto ship. Well, we might want to board with double rock. Maybe most other ships we're going to want to board with double mantis instead. Um, so let's just show you what that looks like. So imagine that these are our two other crew going through. Well, if I want to board with the Zoltan instead of the human, I can move the human out. I can uh, assign the Zoltan to that tile and then we instantly board. So you have these swappable boarding crews if you want. All right, let's get on to the new stuff. Here is a ship that has boarding themselves. Um, they have two crews, so what will normally happen is this crew will board. However, uh, if we were to board right now, then they won't. Uh, and that's because their priority is to uh, defend the rooms on their ship. And they'll always try to match your borders one for one like this. Recently I got thinking whether we could use what we know about how our teleporter works, which I showed you at the start of the video, uh, to manipulate what the enemies do. And so we know that their AI wants to board, and the only thing that is keeping them from boarding is if we distract them with other tasks. So if I, we saw if we board with both of our crew before they get into the teleporter, um, they never get into the teleporter and they never board, but they still want to. There's still that boarding imperative in the uh, in the AI logic, as it were. Um, so any if we were to board into teleporter, then um, they would go in. So let's just show you what happens. You see, as soon as they can, they board. So this wasn't going to be the crew who would normally board. It would normally be the lower priority system uh, crew. This this mantis who was manning engines would be assigned the, the task because the pilot is a higher priority task. But as soon as we go into this room, both of these crew have to go in there. And as soon as this crew reached the assigned tile, um, they were a valid boarder and then they instantly get um, like sent over to this ship. Um, but we still have one crew here to deal with. So what we want to do instead is get both of their crew inside the teleporter room before either of them can settle on a tile. And the simplest way to do that is just to time our teleport. Teleporting takes one second in total. That's half a second on each side of the teleport, as it were. And they will react to us as soon as we begin materializing on their ship. Uh, so we account for a half second delay. During that time, this mantis will travel slightly more than one tile. Um, so we're just going to wait until they are about there and then board. And now they're overlapping. And we can go break their weapons. And sure, you've got two mantis on your ship. That is annoying. But it's easy to deal with. I 
and we take a burst laser two offline before it can even fire, which I think is kind of neat. Just gonna wait uh, until that bomb fires before I do anything too drastic. Okay. Now we can just open all doors on our ship and uh, stabilize the situation, leave some air pockets like so. And now we have complete control of the fight. We're free to break Clone Bay. Oh, I should turn off Arty. The next system we break um, will cause them to teleport back. Uh, unless, of course, it's the teleporter. Now, and there you go. Easy fight. Uh, funny enough, though, I don't think you'll ever see uh, that actual fight in the game because um, every Mantis ship has an NG crew, uh, except for the Ship Collectors event. I don't think there's any other exceptions. Um, and that one's always a Mantis fighter and then a Mantis bomber. Um, so I think with this layout, they'll always have this replacement NG uh, who lands in piloting. Uh, so let's see what happens. Uh, can we stop them? We actually can. Who's going to move now? It is the Mantis. So they are going on the top tile. Want to wait a bit and then move the human. Here's an example, by the way, where we will not be able to make them double board uh, simply because the human is in piloting and the NG is in engines. Normally, the engines crew would board in preference to the piloting and it takes some time to walk over here, uh, so we'd be fine. But uh, they don't want to board with NG or Zoltan if they can avoid it. Um, they'll board with NG instead of Zoltan, by the way. Zoltan is, is the AI's least favorite boarder. Um, but the human is going to immediately board here, and we just can't stop it. Just too late. Mantis Assault, again, you've got the same situation with the replacement NG spawning in piloting. Um, and the teleporter is to the right of this empty room again. Um, I think that means uh, this will always work. I think the, well, the first crew to be assigned uh, a defending task has to go on this tile. And the second crew has to go on the right. And I think once we move into a room, the crew that was assigned a task earliest will move first. So they'll like rotate through the queue, as it were. Let's see what happens. Don't know if that changes with uh, the boarding defense priority for NG versus Mantis here. See what happens. Yeah, so the Mantis is coming. They're going to the top tile. We we'll wait a moment. And then we move. Once the NG settles on the bottom tile, they will teleport. There we go. Rock Investigator. What I'm going to do here is jump into Teleporter and move out so we get a split. And this crew takes a while to travel, unfortunately. And they are actually doing this kind of swap. So now we need to wait until they overlap, basically. Okay. And 
you see they are going to be both in the room before either of them can get to the bottom tile. And they did teleport from the bottom tile, as it were. We're starting to get a bit more specialised now because um, Rock Interceptor here, it's only going to have two crew in Sector 3. It also can have cloaking in this room here. It's an optional system with a 50% chance in Sector 3. Uh, also, it takes them a long time to walk to the teleporter. Uh, nevertheless, uh, we can still just board. And wait. And how do I want to do this? I guess we have them moving together. Yeah, that works best. They should disappear any moment. Yep. Pirate version of the same ship. Um, again, this could have cloaking. It's 50% chance. This one doesn't. They are going to want to board immediately with the rock. Because it's a rock, uh, we will actually be able to stop them from boarding because it's too slow to get onto the tile. Um, but this could be kind of interesting. Yeah, this is this rock is going down here. So I think what I want to do is find out which crew is going to move when I go into the teleporter. I think it's going to be the rock. Go back in. Now both of you go back in. Now go in. Okay, we got it. We can also use this technique when enemy ships have three crew. So Mantis Scout, for example, starts with three crew. Uh, it's less effective, clearly, because uh, we're not going to be able to get rid of all of their crew. But if we can get two of them to board, uh, then we can send the remaining crew to the med bay and we can start punching down their weapons a bit faster. Uh, so in this case, uh, it's a bit complicated because this Mantis is going to want to board, this NG is going to want to go into engines. What I'm going to do is board into teleporter. Now, the Mantis will preferentially defend, so we want to time it against this crew. Uh, so let's see, this crew has to go 1, 2, 3, 4-ish. This crew has to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is the crew that's going to be assigned to the teleporter. So if I let them move two tiles and then board, they will then move about one tile. Uh, so we'll then have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. I think I'll let them move a bit less than two tiles. One, two. Like so. There we go. And we can send this crew to the med bay. We're not going to be able to take off the burst laser 2 before it fires. Uh, but at least we are starting to do damage um, before our teleporter comes off cooldown. And we will take this down. Huh, that's fun. You see, what would we have done about their weapons um, in this case? Our teleporter is getting bombed. Uh, we can't reinforce very quickly. Also should be repairing shields. This fight is a bit of a mess, but you get the idea. We do at least get it under control soon. Oh my god. No, <laughs> they're not staying in shields. Okay, fine. Alright, Mantis Fighter. I'm afraid this is where it starts to get really complicated. Um, we can't just move into the teleporter because this crew is too close, at least with this console placement. Um, so what I'm going to do is board into the empty room here. And um, normally that would pull uh, the crew that were not boarding. 
but uh, because the NG doesn't want to fight, it's going to pull the two Mantis. It will pull the pilot first and then the, uh, the engine's crew who was going to board. And then the NG will go board. So we do this. And then I'm going to move one of my crew out. When I move a crew out, the, the two Mantis are not going to reassess the number of, of crew in the room uh, until we leave completely. So moving crew out will hold the NG in weapons. And then what we're going to do is take advantage of the fact that these Mantis are basically equidistant from the teleporter and they are going to want to go defend it. So we can basically move immediately, right? This is about one, two, three. This is about one, two, three. We'll just wait a moment. No, it works. Yeah. They're actually crossing over, but that's fine. Okay. The pirate version of the same ship. If these were all humans, then it would be fine, even with the bad console placement. Uh, we could just board into teleporter and there'd be just enough time for this crew to catch up. But because they're a rock, uh, that's not going to work. So what I'm going to do is board into shields. That will pull first the engine's crew to that console and the pilot to this square. The human is still going to go board. See, here come the rocks. And then I'll move uh, one crew out into piloting. That will pull the human into piloting. And then instead of moving this crew, I'm just going to move this one into the teleporter such that they enter the room about when these two rocks are equidistant uh, from the teleporter. So uh, we're going to pull these two. This one is still occupied with fighting. We didn't leave the room. One of them is coming to fight our crew and one is coming to board because uh, we freed up uh, these crew. They don't have any tasks. Anymore. And there you go. Rebel Fighter, this one is kind of fiddly, unfortunately. If this console were on the other tile up here, uh, then it would be fine. We could just board into their teleporter. Um, but it doesn't quite work here. This crew has to go 1.4, 2.4, 3.4, 4.4, 5.4 tiles. But they get a one tile head start, roughly. So 4.4 tiles. This crew has to go one, two, three, four and a half tiles. They just have to get like in the door. So they're not quite going to make it. Let's just prove it. And the point of this is you can calculate it. You see, not quite there. So with this uh, unfavorable console position that we've got on this particular fight, um, there are a couple of different ways you can do it. But the most reliable is to board into shields. Uh, maybe weapons would work as well, but uh, I've just been boarding into shields. And that's going to pull the pilot and the engine's crew because the weapons crew is still assigned to the teleporter. And then we move uh, one crew into oxygen. So what that will do is pull this crew that is going to the teleporter. The, these two crew are still going to be occupied. As long as we have one crew in the room, uh, they still act as if there are two crew. They still consider themselves to have a task defending against those borders. So we go into oxygen and we're pulling both these crew now, you can see. And then we just need to leave uh, at the right time. Like so. and we're kind of bunching them up. The crew who are currently moving into the room, one of them has been assigned to the bottom tile of oxygen and uh, the other one is actually moving to the top tile of teleporter because they want to board, they don't have a task anymore. And then the other one who is going to react will be the one who's currently on the top tile of oxygen um, because they had a task assigned earlier, so they're kind of rotating through the queue. So we have them overlapping like this, and there you go. Let's do one more. 
Uh, Mantis Assault again, but imagine this is later in the game uh, where they have more crew. This one is tricky because uh, we can't just board this Mantis. Uh, well, both Mantis will come, but uh, this Mantis is a lot further away than this one. So, what am I going to do? Board into the empty room, that will pull both Mantis, and then the NG will go to this square to board. And then I want to hold the NG in place so that this Mantis can catch up a bit. So now the NG has been assigned instead to uh, defend this room. They'll go onto the console, actually. Mantis is coming. This one was the first one to be assigned to the room, and this one's the second. You can tell that uh, even visually just because this tile is empty. So this one will be the next to respond. So when I move this one out, the NG is defending here. This Mantis will be assigned to this tile, and then this Mantis will go to the teleporter. Right? So where were we? NG is defending. One of these mantis going to this tower, one of them going to teleporter. They're basically overlapping. I think we just move out. Yep, that'll do it. Okay, so that's not every single combination in the game, um, but hopefully all of those different versions give you the ideas, the tools that you need to, to get working with this tactic and kind of work out the solution, uh, if there is one, to any given fight. Obviously, sensor information is pretty much essential here, or at least it's very, very helpful. Um, hope you found that interesting. I think this is really cool. It's a brand new tactic. It's quite complex and, and sophisticated, and uh, I think it can be pretty useful, especially in the early game.